Rebecca, also known as 4Kids at 147, and I thought I'd show you what I've been doing recently. So this is not scrapbooking related. Um, I've had, I found another little mini hobby, which has just kept me distracted for a bit. Um, I am planning on getting some scrapping done, hopefully, um, after doing this video, but I thought I'd just show you what my addiction has been for the past couple of weeks. So, um, I spotted something on Instagram, I think it's been on Facebook, um, about diamond painting. So, firstly, what I did was I picked up a little one, and this one was just from Amazon. Uh, it is, I think it's about 20 by 20, something like that. Let me have a quick look. Oh, so the whole image itself is about 24 centimetres by about 24 centimetres. And this one was a partial uh, diamond painting. So all I had to do for the actual sticking part was just on the actual monkey. This part isn't sticky at all. So, and I loved it. So what I did was I nipped onto AliExpress and ordered a bigger one. <laughs> so this is quite a bit bigger. This one is classed as 60 by 45. And I have been sticking little diamond bits for the past two weeks. I think it's about two weeks. I've done it most evenings, sat in front of the TV and absolutely love it so this is what i have sort of been tied up doing um when i ordered from aliexpress i did order two so this is the first one which as you can see is a monkey uh, this one i've finished and for this i used the round diamonds so you can get ones that are square, but you can also get ones that are round. So this one and also my partial one were the round. Um, and then I have got another image, which is the square. But I thought I'd just show you. Oh, it's so addictive. Um, but I thought I'd just show you the difference between the two. So this one is, uh, is Huacan. I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it. And as I say, I got this one from AliExpress. Um, and you get all the symbols all the way down the side, which do correspond underneath the diamonds. Now, they do use what's the DMC colours, um, which if any of you do cross-stitch, which I do, though that's also been put to the wayside, um, they use the same sort of colours. So what I did was I actually ordered some floss number stickers for DMC so that I could label up all my little diamond bits. So when I got them, they all, this one, all came in little bags, just bags full of diamonds of which you can see I've had plenty because I've still got a lot of the colors that I used on this left. Um, came in little baggies. And what I did was I decided to use um, the same tubs that I used for my sequins. So this is an empty one. Um, and I've used them and numbered them all up with all the numbers. So if you can see here, I mean, these are still all the ones I've got left after finishing this. But I've just popped the little numbers on the bottom so that I know what numbers I'm working with. And then you tip them into the little tray and then use the little tool to pick them up and stick them down. Um, I'm sure there are many more videos on diamond painting and I'm probably going to do one on setting up my next one. Um, but I just thought I'd show you how I had this one all set up. So I say I've still got a gazillion of colours from this one. I did have to turf some sequins out, um, but I've kept them separate until more boxes arrive, but that was the rest of them. So all the colors for this diamond painting are all those. And then I just kept hold of the bags with the extra bits in and used a good Studio Calico little canvas bag just to sort of 
keep all of those bits together and yeah so this is how I sort of had my diamond painting organized absolutely loved it um, I've been doing it in front of the TV I did originally start on a table but then I did pull out a jigsaw board I don't know if anybody's ever seen the jigsaw boards I do like to do the old jigsaw as well so I sat this on a jigsaw board so that I could just have it resting on the arm of the couch and I could be sat comfy uh, a few things I did sort of find I suppose a little helpful tips along the way so um, these all come covered up with strips which I'll show you when I set up my next one um, and then they sometimes the adhesive runs off over the side so at first I did try getting a craft knife and scraping it off so that it wasn't on there and it just took far too much time so what I did was I actually pulled out my um, EK success powder tool um, using for taking the sticky off the back of stickers for scrapbooking and I've just brushed that all around the side so that none of this overhang is sticky anymore so um, when I first started of course you have to make sure that you don't get where the diamonds are going to stick so I just peeled back um, the paper and got rid of it and then it was only once I finished putting the diamonds on the other sections that I decided to go over it but anyway that's a little tip if you do enjoy a spot of diamond painting as well to treat the overhang but yeah I thought I'd show you sort of how I've been missing in action uh, for a couple of weeks while this new hobby sort of took over for a short period of time but I do have another one um, however I am planning on taking the next one a lot slower um, I want to still be doing my scrapbooking but I think that will be more of a just maybe an hour in an evening sat in front of the TV we'll see how it goes but doesn't that monkey look cool doesn't that look absolutely funky so yeah my addictive personality has now <laughs> been used up um, on doing this monkey they all stay on they don't drop off um, and I find yeah it's it's very very addictive so anybody who likes cross stitch painting by numbers anything like that watch out if you get a diamond painting um, you will be addicted so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do another video on um, my next one uh, just for those that aren't as interested um, don't have to watch it uh, but those that are can see how I'm going to set up my next one and then hopefully I'll just do a quick video when it's all finished um, probably in a few months time rather than a few weeks time because um, I'm hoping to get some scrapping in as well but yeah Thanks for watching and I'll speak to you all again soon.